What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at another smart speaker. Just when I thought, you know, there's not going to be like another brand of smart speaker. I come across a brand new one and of course I picked this up from Amazon. Links will be in the description below if you guys want to try the speaker after the video. So this is the Braven Veil Alexa enable Wi-Fi speaker. So if you guys didn't see my last Wi-Fi speaker, we um actually did the, I think it was called the DOS Assistant. That one was a pretty good speaker. Um, yeah, that one was okay. But let's see if this one will be better. All right, so let's bring it up a little bit closer and let's take a look at the box. All right, guys, so let's take a look from top to bottom, at least from the front side of the box. So right here, we got the name Braven, which is the name of this crazy looking speaker. And as you work your way down, you get a little image of what the speaker looks like. This piece here looks like it's the actual speaker. Right up here, you get the blue ring, which I believe if you activate Alexa, that's what um, shows that it's been activated. Um, to the bottom here, it just says Amazon Alexa, and you get the veil, and it says Alexa enable Wi-Fi speaker. To this side, we got uh, just a little bit of um, of phrases you you can tell Alexa to do. So, hey Alexa, what's today's weather, and so on, and so on, and so on. So that's pretty nice. To the back here, we get a top view of the speaker. You get your volume, all volume down. Um, this looks like the mute mic, and we'll figure out what this one's for, and then. Oh, this one has two mics actually. So note on the DOS speaker, that one only had one mic. This one has two. So the sensi so the sensitivity of when you say, "Hey Alexa," uh, may be a little bit better on this than the DOS. And this was actually a little bit more than the DOS as well. Um, so let's read what it says right here. Amazon Alexa enabled. Braven Veil uses Wi-Fi to access Alexa. A cloud-based voice service to play music, answer questions, read the news, and more. Far fields recognition, hears from any direction, deliver crips high and a warm bass response, used to control smart home products, and of course you get the 360 of room filling audio. That's pretty nice. In the back here, we got some Explore services including. So I'm pretty sure you guys know what Spotify is. So if you have Spotify, Spotify will work with this. You get Prime Music, which is the one I currently use. Pandora, Uber, so you can call yourself an Uber, and ESPN Radio, which I did not know ESPN had a radio. You guys could be killing me that I didn't know that, but I honestly did not know that. And then if you want to find a little bit more of the speaker, that's the website right there. And I'll also put a link to that website in the description below. So let's jump into the box and see what cool stuff we get in the packaging. Let's start with the top right here. So we get Braveval User Manual, which is pretty cool. All right, then let's actually just read this really quick. We got, this is the Say Hello to Spotify Premium. And it, your new device has Spotify Connect built in it. So that's pretty nice. Unfortunately, I don't have Spotify. So I'm not going to be able to show you guys how that works. But if you guys do have Spotify and you end up buying the speaker, you know, to hell, give it a shot. <laughs> All right. So it's in the top part of this box. You do get your charger. Now on the DOS, the DOS actually used a micro USB charger. Let's see what kind of wire this is. So we get a... Okay, so this is like one of those pointy ones. So this is like a real adapter adapter head, unlike the micro USB, which is still an adapter, but that one's much more common than this. So you're gonna definitely have to use, oops, sorry, I hit the camera. We're definitely gonna have to use this instead of like a phone charger or something. So that's the charger right there for you. Now let's take out the speaker. You get the styrofoam right here. And let's just keep on digging. And there's the speaker, guys. There's the speaker. I got the speaker. Let's see if it's anything else in there. Nope, just a lot of fault. So let's get that out. Actually, let's yeah, let's get the box out of the way. We're not gonna be looking at the box again. And this is the speaker right here. Let's just open this gently. Gently. We don't want to rip anything up. There we go. Nice and neat. Oh wow. So right off the bat. This is not a heavy speaker, so I'm a little scared of how the sound might be because compared to the DOS, the DOS was almost, well, I don't want to say twice, but like 25% heavier than the way this feels right now. 
they're heavily on the Spotify. So um, the speaker may have something connected to Spotify, but it, it does feel much more premium than the DAW speaker felt. Um, yeah, this is a lot. Yeah, it feels a lot more premium, even though the DAW was heavier. Um, to the bottom here, it just gives you a little info, serial number, etc. Um, it's made in v Vietnam, so that's pretty cool. Not in China for once, huh? And that is the speaker, guys. Let's try it out. I'm actually going to go read up on exactly how to set the speaker up. And I'll be back to show you guys how to do that. Alright, guys. So, I read through the instruction manual. And I think we're going to get this set up perfect right now. So, first thing what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and plug your speaker in. So, you're going to drop that bad boy in like that. And then there's a couple prompts that the light does once Power. you start. There you go. And then it's going to go solid green and then it should start to flash. And when it starts flashing, that's the signal that the speaker is ready to pair. So I went ahead and grabbed my essential phone. Let's just move this a little bit to the side. There you go. And now let me show you what you got to do. So first off, you got to make sure your phone is connected to Wi-Fi. Specifically a, um, a 2.4 gigahertz network, not a 5.0 gigahertz. You want to connect to a 2.4. So once your Wi-Fi is connected, you're going to go ahead, go onto the Play Store. You're going to search for Braven. B-R-A-V-E-N. Right, it's called Braven Avail. Oh, oops. There you go. Braven Fail, and that's the icon right there. You're going to click on it, and, well, I already installed it, so we're just going to open it up right now. And let's start the process. So it's going to actually try to search for the speaker. Will it find the speaker? Who knows? So we're going to hit Wi-Fi setup wizard because the speaker is not yet connected. So we're going to go ahead and click that right there. And then, like I was saying earlier, you want to make sure you're connected to a 2.4 gigahertz. We're going to hit that and it's my connection is not Superman. So let me go ahead and just change my network to the 2.4 and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you went ahead and typed in your password and got connected up to the correct Wi-Fi network, you're going to be taking to this screen right here. It says press to enter setup mode. So you're going to do exactly what it says right here. Now this is a layout of the top of the speaker. So that's that button right there. So we're going to go ahead and long press on it. And then Connecting release. to your network. This may take one to three minutes. There you go. And then we are actually my phone locked. We're now, we're now going to just hit next right there. And we're actually going to wait a couple minutes. Now, it actually doesn't take that long. So we're just going to wait it out live right here. And hopefully it gets connected a lot faster than um, than a couple minutes. It's funny because here it says 60 seconds and the speaker just connected. said a couple minutes. And there you go, guys. We're all connected up. We're going to actually hit next. Uh, we're gonna just leave it as um, um, Actually, can we do custom? Yes, we can do custom. We're gonna name it of course silent speed because that's the name of my lovely channel here silent a speed Where is it Silent speed 19 there you go boom gonna confirm that we are then gonna go next or check mark There we go. We're gonna continue on we're going to sign in with my Amazon account and I'll be right back to try out some some of the cool Amazon phrases to see exactly how responsive this speaker really is guys. All right, so I went ahead and signed in. Let's just finish the setup. So English of course just gives us a little um things to try and of course like Braven says, we value your privacy so you can disable your microphone as shown in the speak in the image above. So there you go, guys. If you just want to not just, you know, microphone it away, you can go ahead and mute yourself. We're going to hit next. And it's already preset to some volume right here. So it's about maybe like 60%. And let's see how 60% sounds. And that's how you basically set up the speaker to, you know, to, to get to work, on, you know, the Amazon features and whatnot. So let's start off by just asking it the time. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.20 p.m. That works great. Alexa, what's the weather? Right now in Ozone Park, it's 28 degrees with mostly clear skies. Tonight's forecast has clouds with a low of 23 degrees. She is pretty good. Alexa, 
set alarm for 12 p.m. tomorrow. Alarm set for noon tomorrow. Alexa, disable all alarms. 12 p.m. alarm canceled. There you go. Another thing it can do, it can actually call me an Uber, but you have to actually go into the Amazon app and set up that feature. So let's give it a quick shot just so you guys can hear the response. Alexa, call me an Uber. This skill requires you to link your Uber account and your permission to use your location. To enable it, please go to the skills section of the Alexa app and search for Uber. There you go. Alexa, order me some paper towels. Okay, I can look for brands like Bounty. What would you like? Bounty. Amazon's choice for Bounty paper towels is Bounty select a size paper towels, white, 12 huge rolls. I'm sorry, something in your one click purchase settings is invalid. Please visit Amazon and update your settings to voice order and get my exclusive deals. Meanwhile, should I add Bounty to Anton's Amazon cart? No. All right. Check your Alexa app for more options. All right. So it works pretty good. Let's ask it one more thing. Alexa, who is Michael Jordan? Michael Jeffrey Jordan, also known by his initials, MJ, is an American retired professional basketball player, businessman, and principal owner and chairman of the Charlotte Hornets of the National Basketball Association. All right, so as with any Alexa speaker, including the original Alexa, it has the exact functionality as any speaker that has the Alexa capability. So what's going to be different is just the design aspect, the sound quality, um, the build quality. So all of those Sorry, are going to play. I'm not sure. A major. All those are going to play a major. Um, some major, I guess, reasons of why you might want to pick up. This one may um, compared to maybe the DA speaker or the Amazon Alexa speaker, which that might be my next speaker. And it's pretty sensitive because I said Alexa and it's, you know, it lit, lit up to, you know, get ready to answer what I, I'm about to ask it. But fortunately, I have nothing for you right now. Mm -hmm. um, so actually, let's go into some music. So I went ahead and, and added some non-copyright music to my Pro Amazon Prime Music playlist. So let's give it a shot. Amazon. I said Amazon. Uh-oh, uh-oh, something's wrong with me tonight, guys. Alexa, play no copyright music. So I kind of messed up on the question. I actually asked it to play no copyright music. And it's trying to search it instead of playing my playlist. So that's something to note, guys. When you want to play a playlist, you have to specifically say, play the name of the playlist and then say playlist at the end. So let's give it one more try. Alexa, play no copyright playlist. A playlist, no copyright. There you go. So it instantly picked up. So this is the first song in the playlist. So let's see if you guys enjoy it and maybe get to hear the, the way the speaker sounds. All right, enjoy. Alexa, pause. One last note too, the volume it's currently playing at is the default volume of which the speaker comes when you set it up. So it's about 60% right now. So just note that when you hear the sound and I'm gonna gradually turn it up and then I'll let you guys know when it's maximum volume. All right. Alexa, play.
Alexa, turn volume down. Alexa, next. Alexa, volume up. So it does mute. Alexa, play. So, at that moment just now, when it was all the way up, it could not hear me from this close. And I'm pretty close to the speaker. So, I guess certain songs just have a higher pitch that kind of overshower your voice. But nonetheless, the speaker sounds pretty good. Not, It doesn't sound as good as the DAW speaker did. The DAW has a little bit more bass to it, so it balanced off a little bit better than this. But this one is just, the having the two mics is just more, it's more sensitive when I say, you know... You guys know. Actually, let's mute it. When I say Alexa. So, and it hurt me again. So, yeah, guys. So, that's the Braven speaker. So far, I'm impressed by it. Minus the sound. And obviously, when you do buy or purchase a a, 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 a assistant speaker, you really don't expect it to shine as far as music quality. With the exception of the... Um, of the Link speakers by JBL, which JBL sounds are good. Those didn't run Alexa, which those run Google, and I kind of prefer the Alexa now. Sorry, since, I don't know that. Since this is the second um, Alexa speaker I have, I just feel it's it's better because I could just say Alexa instead of saying okay Google, and that's to me just a little bit better. Um, but yeah, um, so far the Braven is pretty nice. Well, I, I must say I'm pretty impressed by the build quality and just the design of it. It's pretty cool. It's different. Um, even though it's a cylindrical shape, but it's kind of like, you guys, you know, it has some shape to it. So, that's all I'm going to say about the speaker for now. Um, it's pretty good. I like it. I'm, you know, I'm going to continue to use it and see if I'm going to eventually hold on to it. And, of course, in the future, I'm going to probably get my hands on the, the Amazon Echo second generation. Because I was supposed to have the, the enhanced speaker for better sound quality for music. So I can't wait to try that out guys. But until then, make sure to subscribe to see that video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Purchase link for the speaker will be in the description below. As well as the link to, if I can find these songs. Because these songs like, I, I got off of um, uh, Amazon Prime. But I will put the names below of the songs. In case you guys want to go ahead and research them. And of course, if I find the YouTube link to... um those songs i'll place them down below so with that we're going to end the video right here guys as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video